Hi there! Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful pink tube top. So if you enjoy this kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started! Okay, to start off this top, you will need some acrylic yarn. I am using one from Wick Crochet. I will link it down below. So just start with a simple slit knot. Insert your hook. And this top you can make it as long as you want to. Just, just you can just compare it to yourself. I'm going to do 52 chains for myself, not too short, not too long. So I'm gonna start doing my chains as simple as this. Okay, I have finished the length that I want for my chains. Now I'm going to start doing my half double crochets. I'm just gonna join over and start in the third chain from the loop, from the hook. So insert my hook, grab the yarn, yarn over and go to all those three loops on my hook. Yarn over, go into the next chain, grab the yarn, go through, yarn over and go to through all three. So as easy as that, you just keep doing this until you reach the end. I have finished this first rows of half double crochet. This is how it's looking. Now I'm just gonna chain two, turn around. And for this part and the rest of the project, the rest of the rows, you're just gonna half double crochet in that back loop only, okay? The one that is farthest from you. So go into that back loop and start making half double crochets. Okay, so I will do a couple more rows and I will show you how it's looking, but it's easy as that, just go through all the row at, and reach the end, chain two, turn around and crochet in the back loop only. And that's pretty much it for this tube top. You just keep doing rows until it fits you. So I'm going to show you how it's looking in just a few seconds. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I have done quite a few rows until it fits me. I am content with the rows I've done, so I'm gonna do one chain here. I already did it. And just cut off my yarn. Next, I will show you how to do the flowers that you're going to put on the top. Okay, to start the flower, I'm just going to begin with that magic ring, chain one, and I'm going to do six single crochets inside that ring. So insert the hook, yarn over and close it off. Now I'm going to pull tight. And I'm going to insert my hook in that first single crochet. And do a slip stitch. Okay, chain one. And for this round, I'm gonna double it. So you're gonna end up with 12 single crochets. So your hook in that first single crochet and do two single crochets in that same one. slip stitch in that first single crochet you did, chain one, and cut off the yarn, and there you have it. Now I'm going to do the petals, I'm going to insert my hook in that first single crochet I see next to where I cut off. And I'm going to chain six. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. 
and next you're gonna do half double crochets so it's gonna be four start your hook in that next chain yarn over insert your hook in that next chain yarn over again and close it off yarn over go into the next chain grab the yarn yarn over and close it off okay now slip stitch in the next single crochet you see go through that loop on your hook and chain six again single crochet in the second chain from the hook and four half double crochets slip stitch in the next single crochet you see and chain six again so you're going to repeat this until you have 12 petals in total and when you reach here again a slip stitch and cut off your yarn okay so i have finished my 12 petals you can stretch this out a little bit but before i cut my yarn very important detail and to make it easier don't cut it off too short leave a long tail maybe like 15 inches just so you have something to use to attach it to the top okay so let me see here maybe 15 inches yeah just pull it up i have here my top And so I'm gonna hide this yarns first just so I don't have anything hanging out okay I have hidden all of my yarns and now I'm ready to start putting my flower onto the top so what I'm gonna do is place it where I want I want to start around this corner and I'm just going to start going in and out through the petals. So I'm going to start by this one. And then I'm going back in. The next, the next one, I go back in, just keep doing this until it's secure and attached to your liking, just make sure it's not too loose, not too tight, doesn't look funky or anything, okay? So I'm gonna finish attaching all of my flowers off camera and then I'm gonna show you how to do the crisscross detail on the back and add some straps. A little side note I wanted to add just in case you wanted to know. On the back when I finished sewing in my flower I just did a simple knot there where I started and then hid my yarn inside of there and I'm gonna cut it off right there and that's basically it it's pretty easy pretty standard i'm no sewing expert but that's the way i did it and i think it looks good okay i have finished putting all of my flowers onto the top this is how it's looking okay and now i'm going to do some small dots i think it's gonna look good so to do that, it's very simple. I'm just gonna do a magic ring with this white color. Chain one. And do six single crochets inside that ring. So insert your hook in the ring, grab the yarn, yarn over, close it off.
pulled tight. Once you have your six single crochets, insert your hook in that first single crochet you did. It's a little tricky because it's tight. There you go. Chain one and then you cut off right there. And that's it and to put it onto the top I'm just gonna take my needle right here going through the top I'm taking the other end and doing the same And I'm just going to go back out to extra secure it and then go back in again. Then I'm just gonna do simple knot right there and just hide the yarn with my needle along here and that's it for those dots okay next step is the crisscross detail i'm doing in the back for this part i have measured 60 inches times two and then pull up that loop around here and that side that i measured is this one and the one that is coming from the ball of yarn is this one okay so to start you just do this, yarn over and yarn over on the other side and close it off just like a single crochet. Okay, yarn over, yarn over and close it off, yarn over, yarn over and close it off. It's that easy. So I'm gonna do this two times obviously on this side and on the other side and then i'm going to put it in and i'll meet you on that part just so you can see how it's gonna look okay i am finishing this part right here and i wanted to show you a little detail that i do at the end so i'm gonna chain two and do four more double crochets inside that same space And then a slip stitch and a chain one. And that's it. You can hide this later in a needle as best as you can. Okay, this is basically it for the back. I wanted to show you how it looks. I did a bow right there. And if you are like me, I like my tops extra secure, so I'm gonna do some straps on each side. You don't have to, you can just leave it like a tube top, but I'm not wearing this too tight, so I'm gonna do two straps using the same method as this. So I'm gonna do them both off camera and then I'll meet you when it's all done. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy making this beautiful pink tube top with me. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe.